Hi, for this recording, I will show you how to find the area of curve given the table x from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and corresponding y 0, 5, 8, 10, 9, 8, 7, 4, 0. You're going to find the area under the curve. Now, in order to find the area under the curve, usually we'll do the integration. So integration from a to b, a is 0 now, b is 80, integrate y with respect to x. Now this can be estimated using the Simpson's rule. In this case, we have n equal to 8 street because we can call the point, this point uh, given by, let's say the first point is called y0, second point is called y1, third point is called y2, Fourth point is called y3, fifth point is called y4, sixth point is called y5, seventh point is called y6, eighth point is called y7, and the last point in this case is y8. In order to approximate the area under the curve, we can use the Simpson's rule, which says that this area is h over 3, where h equal to 10 now, the interval length times y0 plus y8, first point and last point of y, plus 4 times the sum of all the odd position y, plus 2 times all the sum of all the even position y, except the first y and the last y. I'm going to show you how do you do the calculation. This is going to be equal to 10 over 3 times the sum of all this y. Now the sum of all this y can be used as a calculator. What we're going to do is I'm going to use a call my calculator here. I'm going to use a statistical function. The statistical function is 2 here, so I'm going to use 2. And I'm going to do some setup also. I forgot to do a setup, but anyway, you have to do a setup so that frequency is on. Okay, let me do a setup here. Uh, she set up. Let me on first. She set up. And I'm going to do the statistic. Go down to two statistic three. And then I'm going to click on the frequency one. One for frequency on. One. And now I'm going to go to statistic mode. Mode. Two for statistic. And I'm going to make a table using one variable, one. Now I have a two column come out. I'm going to input all the y now. Notice this is y here. The value of y is zero. First value is zero. Then five. Then eight. Then ten. Then nine. Then eight. Then 7, then 4, then 0. This is y, 8. And then I'm going to key in the frequency now. At the moment, the frequency is all 1. But actually, y, 0, I am going to have at one time. So y, 0, at one time is okay. But how about y, 0 at one time, right? So the first value of y, I'm going to add one time. Second value of y, which is y1, I'm going to add four times. Four times here. Second value of y, I'm going to add four times. y1, y3, y5, y7, or four times. So second value of y, I'm going to add four times. So I can come here and add four. And y2, you can see from here, I'm going to add 2 times. Okay, y2 is going to add 2 times. Then y3 is going to add 4 times. y4, which is 9, I'm going to add 2 times. y5, which is all positional y, I'm going to add 4 times. y6, which is uh, even positional y, I'm add 2 times y7 is a opposition y, I'm going to add 4 times, and the last value of y is y8, which is 
uh, only one time. So you notice that the sequence of frequency, let's look at the frequency, frequency, frequency. So sequence of frequency is actually one. Okay, start with the first position, one, the first value of y, in this case, one, right? One, four, two, four, two, four, two, four, one. Okay, I'm going to find the sum. So once I finish the press AC, AC for the sum, and then I'm going to do a calculation using statistic shift step, which is statistic here, and then I'm going to do a sum. So I do a, do a sum four. Number two is for the sum two. Equal define that the sum is one five six. So I'm going to write one five six here. Alright, so now I'm going to find 156 times 10 divided by 3. So let me do a calculation. Mode 1, do double calculation. 156 times 10 divided by 3, which is equal to 5, 2, 0. And this is how we get the answer for area under the curve is 5, 2, 0. This will end. The demonstration of how to use a calculator to find the sum and using the statistical function.